All right, guys, let's get started because I have an eager vendor who just showed up, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to kind of touch you the, the format for this, this briefing is. One, you get to listen to me. <laughs> Sorry. Two, we have vendors come in, and they're going to talk about their activities. Uh, so if you guys are interested in certain things, like Chris is going to talk about scuba diving. This guy's a great opportunity, in fact, on Tuesday and Thursday to actually do a, a, a free pool entry if anyone wants to do a try and scuba dive. Uh, but I'll let Chris talk about that. The other part is, once we finish the vendors, I am going to actually go through and talk about the south side. I'm going to tell you guys some places to go eat, okay? places to go hike, places to get shot before you do eat. Just kidding. Yeah. Um, so, on that though, and Chris is already eager and ready to go, let's roll, brother. I'm going to bring you guys over to Chris. Chris is with Phantom Five. All right, guys. How's it going today? Good morning. 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 Good Goes out every Tuesday and Thursday. We pick you up right here in front of the hotel at 145. We'll have you back here around about 3 o'clock. So, what will happen is we'll bring you guys up to the pool. We'll have an instructor ready and waiting for you guys. All the same gear that we use out in the ocean. We'll give you a quick safety briefing and then I'll help you uh, keep you up and get you guys into the pool. And then you have pretty much a half an hour, 45 minutes to do as you want underwater. Uh, you guys can uh, play underwater tag, you can play underwater Rochambeau if you want. You've got some toys that you can play with. And it's just a really good way to experience scuba diving for the first time. Uh, to feel what it feels like to breathe off of the uh, compressed air from the tank. Now for those of you guys who are feeling a little bit more adventurous and want to go out to the ocean after a pool dive, or you can skip the pool entirely and go out to the ocean, you can do that too. This is our Discover Dive. So we do have two locations that we go out of right now. One is right here off the South Shore that goes out every day, twice a day. And then we do have another location that goes out off the North Shore every weekday only, so no weekends, guys. Um, and the really only the difference between the two is that for the South Shore, we can take you guys up right here in front of the hotel again, and uh, we can drop you off afterwards. For the North Shore, you can actually have to drive up and meet us at the uh, dive site up there. Uh, but right now, honestly, my personal recommendation, if you guys want to go out because of the storm that we have just off the coast, go up on the North Shore, it's going to be a little bit better as far as wave and wave goes, it's going to be a little bit more clear. Um, but yeah, uh, either one is a really great experience. We'll have an instructor out ready and waiting for you, so we'll do like a half an hour safety briefing, and we'll take you out and do three separate skills with you, like five feet under the water, one at a time. Once everybody's feeling nice and comfortable, uh, and has done those skills, we'll drop you guys to the bottom and take you out on a guided scuba tour. So this is pretty much just like any other scuba tour at this point. They'll have the guide with you. They'll point out all the cool little things that you might otherwise miss. When you guys are running on air, we'll turn around, head back in. While you're warming up with the warm Hawaiian sun, having some snacks and drinks, we'll swap out tanks for you and get everything ready for a second dive. Now on these dives, I do get a lot of questions asking whether or not we rent out cameras and or anything like that. And unfortunately, if you are a diver, that is going to be a no. That's just because um, you are doing something very new in a very new environment with unfamiliar gear. We want you guys to be focused on what you're doing and enjoying the experience rather than on the camera with your hands. Trust me, I have seen uh, professional divers drive like complete garbage the moment they have a camera with them because they're too focused on getting the picture and not on what they're doing. But that's where I come in. I'm the photographer with Five uh, Adventures. Uh, I do a lot of professional work. I've gotten some acclaim around the world for what I've done with Great White Sharks out in uh, South Africa. If you guys do want pictures of your uh, trip, I can go out with you guys. I can get um, pictures of everything that you're seeing, all you guys underwater as well. We'll do the shocker sign for the camera symbol, uh, and in about three to five days afterwards, I'll have an album of professionally edited photos for you guys to download to your iPad, uh, iPhone, computer, whatever. 
Uh, it's a great way to not only tell your family and friends about the experience, but show them as well. Now, for the certified diver, we do also have uh, certified uh, boat dives coming right out uh, every day, twice a day, uh, right here on the Kukuyo Boat Park. We pick you up right here in front of the uh, hotel and drop you off again. Uh, super small boat, as far as passengers go, we take a maximum of six. You're not going to find a smaller boat unless you go down to the water. Um, and there's going to be plenty of shade on the boat as well. All of our sites are all local sites. Um, Anywhere from one minute to 15 minutes outside of the harbor. Uh, so it's super quick to get out of that. Um, and yeah, we tank dives, so it's just a great way to spend half the day. Uh, and then for the rest of you guys, if after your Discover Scuba Dive adventure, you decide that you want to continue on into your school career, we can help you take those next steps towards the certification. This is our e learning program. It takes just about a day or two worth of academic um, material. And then about three half days of diving, and after that third half day, you guys are going to be certified. The certification is good for life. You can take that anywhere in the world, from any dive resort, and show them that card, uh, that certification card. They'll be able to set you up on any uh, certified dive that they've got going out, or even write you guys down a year. So that is pretty much everything that Fathom 5 can offer you. Do I have any questions about what I've talked about? Uh, yes. What do you want to know? Uh, uh, we go out at Tunnels. Yep, yep, up by Hanana Beach. So, yeah, really cool dive. Yeah, if you've got a vehicle, you can get yourself up there. I still got the first one to answer that question. Are there any lab races? Lab races? Yeah, um, all of our races out here are actually very much alive. I know it doesn't look like that. Um, it's definitely not your, your Caribbean or your uh, barrier reef, but that's just because we're out in the open ocean. We have a lot of wave energy, so you're going to get a lot of shorter, more rugged corals that's not going to be knocked over um, by that energy. But yes, the reefs are very much alive right here. <coughs> all right. Uh, anything else? On the north side, though, you would have seen as a uh, I'm not good. Alright. Sweet. Well, hopefully I'll see a couple of you guys out there and then I'll go on the I'm on live, hi out there, because you're going to be sharing with people. Just kidding. Let's switch out, guys, and your packet. In your packet, we have three pieces of paper. You guys, I want you to understand, uh, first of all, it's summer, so it's busy. The bad thing is, it's summer, and it's busy. So if you guys are thinking about wanting to do stuff, don't wait. Don't wait for the next day. Okay, check the concierge for availability. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. On the two for ones that you guys win, there's not going to be a guarantee that there's availability. So if you're going to get a two for one, best thing to hit that desk quickly. Okay, I'm just telling you guys, it's, it's tough. Island is full. Everybody's 100% capacity. So I just wanted to share that with you. Let's go ahead. This paper right here, it's the south side. Okay. And two, two, one. Alright, since he's, he's in the cheap seat, you know, that's sure. <laughs> so, guys, on this here, we're going to do this. First of all, ocean conditions around the island is not the same. Alright? Uh, during the summertime, we get the swell. Okay, if you notice out there, that's the way it's going on. I just went up from here yesterday and out here. It was like a foot to a flat. It was it was so cool. It was probably one of the best conditions. I got to go into the caves. That was really cool. But anyway, that's that's the way the ocean is right now. So snorkeling wise, we have two spots on the south side. If you look at your map, the map will say snorkel here and snorkel here. 
Okay, one represents this reef out here. Okay, on the right side of it, it drops 10 to 20 feet. That's your snorkeling spot. Next one will be down by the beach house restaurant. Okay, in front of that, we do a lot, we do snuba tours and snorkeling tours over there, and that's where you want to snorkel. Okay, so those are the two spots. If you guys are looking for equipment, we do rent them at the pool desk so that you guys know and you can take them anywhere off on the island. All right, and we also have the uh, the preserve. It's one of those, it reminds me of the, remember the belt that you used to strap on and it vibrates? That's where it reminds me of. Uh, it kind of dates me, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I got this handsome looking blue guy. Guys, this is this is a very cool tour. You guys will love it. It's uh, very unique and very good. You guys have got Chris. Hi, everybody. Morning. Morning. Hope you have beautiful Kauai sunshine today. Hey, what is still nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's Hurricane Barbara, but uh, trade winds chop the top off of it, and it's just going to come with this little drizzle for a couple of days. It's going to be okay. Water's going to be well. Uh, my name's Chris. I'm an archaeologist. I am uh, working here on the island, and part of what my company does is provide excursions every day. I know it's not normal for an archaeology company to do that, but we're here in Hawaii, and there was a lot of interest in the history of the island, the history of the ecology, the history of the people, and so we provide this excursion every day, usually in the mornings, and um, uh, bring you out to see ancient Hawaii. This island is over five million years old, but people have only been here for about a thousand years. When the explorers first got here, of course, it was completely occupied by the Polynesians. It was the height of the Hawaiian, Kauai kingdom, chiefdom culture when they arrived. And that was in the 1770s. And uh, what we do is reconstruct how the Hawaiians lived. Part, part of what we use are uh, old photography from the turn of the century. We still have three or four villages living in the traditional way when cameras first came out in the 1800s. And this is from Yula Lokai, uh, out on the north shore of this island. And this is a traditional Hawaiian home, uh, thatched roof. It does not have the palm fronds on the top, but a lot of them did have the palm fronds to keep the rain out. Um, we take you to one of the largest archaeological sites in Hawaii, and it's here. It's between Spouting Horn, which a lot of you have probably visited, all the way to Shipwreck Beach and uh, inland towards Kaloa. And this was an extremely large cultural site, a city, if you will. It was a, an early city. They had um, 30,000 people, perhaps more, uh, living here at the time of Captain Cook. And they had um, a pretty big culture. They had over a thousand irrigated acres of taro. So they were farmers, and they fished, and they hunted, and they had aquaculture, and we're going to teach you all about that during the excursion. Uh, these sites are not on any guidebook that you're going to see. The archaeologist has to take you out and do that. So it's going to be that way. Um, and then we take you out to Maulepu. Maulepu is the last undeveloped section of the south shore of Kauai area here. South Shore being mostly developed, they didn't have a lot of this type of coastline, but this is the last place that has the real ancient coastline still visible. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the plant communities have been overtaken by invasives. A few years ago, some scientists who work in this uh, series of caves and sinkholes down there rediscovered a really important sinkhole that had undisturbed sediment from 10,000 years ago. And they could tell all the plants and all the animals that were here on the island that got deposited in there. And so with the thing, with the help of Grove Farm, which owns the land, they were able to replant the native forest. The 
This is almost over a decade ago. And now this native forest is over seven acres. So it's on its way to 25 acres of traditional native forest. Forest that would have been here a thousand years ago. We call it our thousand year forest. Inside this sinkhole, we've discovered fossils. Over 40 extinct species of birds. One of them is this. This is the tortoise jawed Moanalo. It was this big. <coughs> Flightless gush shockingly disappeared the second the Hawaiians got here. When the Polynesians got here, we have no further record of this bird. Uh, so uh, there probably was some, uh, either the rats or the people eating them, something happened, this bird disappeared. However, it served a very important purpose in the forest. It ate the low ground cover. It was a vegetarian with that big tortoise jaw. And so um, we replaced it, the scientists did, in an experiment on site with sulcata tortoises. Tortoise jaw tortoises, of course. They serve the same purpose. And right now, this forest is actually repopulating itself with native vegetation because of this tortoise, because of the manure, because of all the things that it's doing. We have 24 adults out there. Uh, the archaeologists know the names of almost all of them. And uh, so when you go out on the excursion, you get quite a bit in terms of what this type of stuff. So you get to see the uh, ancient environment, you get to see the history of Hawaii, the history of the sugar industry. We go to the Kaloa Mill, the, the old mill that was abandoned uh, uh, 25 years ago. And uh, we talk about the changes that have wrought in Hawaii since the very beginning. We'll take you back 450,000 years to the beginning of the limestone all the way up to the present day. And we do it in four hours, and best yet, we serve breakfast every morning all, all in the native forest. Uh, so we have picnic table, it's a delicious breakfast. And uh, local style, uh, Bart would like it, it's good stuff. And uh, so we bring you all into our ohana, if you will, our family. And uh, you, you meet with us, there are only 10 passengers that we take every day. So if you're interested, talk to these guys, Kimmy and Tanya and Bart can get you on the excursion. Uh, most days this week, we're kind of filling up. Let us know if you're interested. We'll try to get you in. Okay. If it's raining, do you still? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we have the ponchos. As long as there's no lightning. It rains a lot in Kauai, so. It's part, of the, it's part of the excursion. But as you can see, I mean, it'll rain, but it, sometimes it'll drizzle. It's not that bad. It's pretty good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You can, All you need is that. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is a little different. It, it takes you to a lot of places. That's one part of it. Okay. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Aloha. Have a great day. The funny thing is, okay, so you guys understand. Last year, uh, April 14th, 15th, we had 50 inches of rain. Okay, that's why the North Shore is the way it is. At the same time, you guys realize how much we got here. 0.8 inches. Be careful when you're looking at the map. When you're looking at how it's raining, it's gonna rain somewhere. It's a good opportunity. You know, a little soap you get in your in your hotel room. Take it out. Take care of business. You're good. It's warm, rain right, guy. All right, guys. This next guy. He's amazing. Anybody know Smith Blue Well? Okay. This guy is the fire guy. This is Chief Mono. Come on over, brother. All right. Water for him. By the way, we, we, we called ahead. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is <laughs> Hey, you know, here's a nice small little group here. I'd like to do a nice opening chant for you. Anybody familiar with the Maoris of New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody been to New Zealand? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I'll do a nice opening chant for you guys. Die! You see me? Okay, here we go. Die! 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 Die!
station, it just means good morning. Yeah. <laughs> you should hear the one for good night. <laughs> you won't sleep a couple of hours. <laughs> I promise you that. Anyways, I'm showing you several great activities. One game you up in the air, you will see more of the islands, then you will be doing your car right home. The other activities right down the road on 22,000 acres of private old land will take you over to the famous Wild Old River. First activity will be with Sunshine Helicopters and Operating Company. It's one of the most exhilarating and wrecking activities on the island. 25 years in the business, very proud of a perfect Vegas center record. Now we have 2,000 aircrafts for you to fly in Vivid A Star Facts, which is our comfortable energy to a helicopter or Whisper Star. Now this is a larger aircraft, hardware restriction, 20% more interior room. That is our premier size to into a helicopter. Four aircrafts are climate control, incredible ball sound system, then customized wraparound windows for enhanced viewing, no bad seating aircraft. Now we only need to wait 55 minutes to our flight, and it's all recorded. Camera tail, camera hit by skids, and several cameras in the interior to record all your facial expressions. <laughs> 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 You'd be surprised what you guys do, it's really funny. <laughs> now, when you park on the Huyo Court, we'll skirt the beautiful South Coast land of the island, make way up to the Bay Valley, and show that first beautiful waterfall that was featured in that movie, Jurassic Park. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Take them to Wyman Canyon. Now, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific by Mark Twain. Ah, see? We'll fly right into the canyon. You have used spectacular earthquakes. Ah! Layers by layers, how this beautiful island was created. A truly incredible spectacular fight. Not unusual to find a full circle rainbow and a fall opportunities just appear in the ground a couple of weeks. Along the island edge, two now on the coast. And on the party in Hawaii means the cliffs for many cliffs. These are the most sheer and awesome cliffs in the world. You'll be viewing them from sea level to the 4,000 foot top. White sandy beaches, cascading waterfalls, sea caves, natural geographical distance, jewel dock. We'll show more beautiful hidden waterfalls as we fly into several of the valleys and then make a way up to Kenny Beach. Now there's only two ways to see these awesome cliffs here, air and by sea. Actually three ways because it just opened up the road. You want to hike it up there, kind of get a trip it. But uh, it's about 11 miles of hike. I, I did it one time and I would never do it again. I'd say it's a beautiful hike. It's a beautiful hike, but it's, I'm surprised we made it back out. Anyway, we'll take up the K, K Beach, top of the island to the river city, Holiday Bay, gradually pull down to the center to Mount Wiley Alley, no debate when it's about an earth. Now we'll fly right into the crater. Not up top, not around, right inside guys, it's like flying back into time. You'll be surrounded by jungle waters, <coughs> showers and waterfalls, just cascading, and it's on the mountain side. This I truly believe is the heart of Hawaii and what Kauai is all about. Each bridge up to the pier. Over to the east side, the famous fantasy on the waterfall, wide little falls, and before I know it, give it back to the Hui Airport. Now, our pilots conduct an awesome presentation on the history, geology, culture of the island, all set to the a musical soundtrack just with you. This is an adventure you shouldn't miss. We'll remember for a lifetime. Perfect way to see the beauty of our island, bring the all the way to see the majority of the island. So we back to quite a high level. Let's such a helicopter to take you there. By show of hands, we've been on a helicopter right here over Hawaii. Oh, quite a few of you. How long ago is this now? Um, five years ago. Oh, you're still pretty good. How long? Do you do it definitely okay? Anybody over five years ago? Five years ago, oh, you know, you gotta get up there again. Please, why I said it, just for time to share people. Every five years, we move the island around for you folks. <laughs> <laughs> I think to people uh, uh, okay, anyway. Another great adventure I'm going to share with you is on the famous Wailo River. This is with a lead kayak. Family will come with an awesome adventure on that great river. We'll set you up with a very straight to big kayaks. Everyone will be going to a big plantation while houses and kayaking and the water safety tip. Once in the water, we'll share with you a rich one history left of that river. You never notice the uh, opportunity to read the history up there on the river itself. It was once reserved only by the king's queen and the royal family back in the early days. And they, back in the ancient days, only a man were allowed to dance a hula and they did all the cooking. How's that, ladies? <laughs> and I'm still cooking and dancing at home. <laughs> Some things never change. And we'll, we'll take you back to the boat, uh, the, boat the kayak, the north of the river, then we'll set up a great hike to the tropical rainforest. This is the hike. 
Not a walk field pocket. Because you will be walking through streams, tied knee high, walking up trails, real stupid money also. Awesome. Laughing over a lot of drops, looking at a trail, very solid adventures by night. You'll pass me in beautiful waterways, guided up by history, ninja of the batting, a tree which also one of the 20 foot cascade waterfall. This is where you settle in, relax, enjoy the city view, swimming in a nice cool pool. You can actually get beneath this waterfall, have yourself a nice vigorous and refreshing aqua massage. But I know why they call this place secret. In 10 minutes, it is cool and fresh about the water, just 10 minutes, and you'll come out looking five years younger. How's that? Woo! That month of water will shrink you up. <laughs> Man, you know many trinkets, yeah. Not as ambitious, but four and a half hours. It's just great fun, a great way to get one time kind of like into vacation. So this is something that you only wanted to do, but not alone. Let Ali Kayak take you on an adventure. Hang up, guys. Uh, uh, several more to go right down the road, as I mentioned, on 22,000 acres of private field land. Who wants to have fun again during the same time? Yay! And nobody's raising their hands. <laughs> No, you don't need to get a free Kawhi butt fat. This is where Kawhi needs to be. Check this out, people. Kawhi, all the vehicles, all vehicles. Have fun and we'll be ATV, that's for all the perfect vacation. We have four passenger mud bugs, four hours, 22 miles, taking you to the south side of the island, making way for the main food box tunnel. Half mile long, it's just like a thing back in the early days. Saw the clock, dirt road, got your lights on, got the got your blood location. Major moves to build, excellent place up there. Uh, swimming in nice fresh with the water. You move it gets dirty, you got my bugs here. Uh, don't worry about your clothes because we'll provide t-shirts and shorts for you. The swimming you've been down in the bottom of the summer. It's that whole show to you. Swimming, going to swimming. I think it's my grandson. We had a class. I'm going to go again this week. My grandson. Great fun activity. So. Another zip line. Who's going to zip line? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Guys are live. <laughs> This is a cool zip line. Anybody been a cool zip line? Where I come to here? This is our, our company. We have eight zip lines on this bench. Eight. The shortest zip is about 250 feet. One we zip is about half a mile long. Everyone will be going to a big rotation, but zip lining. You got to show the different angles, different lengths of the zip, the safety tips, what you're going to go into, your harness you up. Um, this word of advice for gentlemen, we do go, we're long short of pants. Because when I did it the first time, I didn't know that the, the straps were right over here. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I made mine tight. <laughs> Don't make it tight. Because at the end of the eight zip, I tell you, so it's good enough. And then you're talking like this. <laughs> but don't worry about it, it takes the straps off, everything will drop. We have tandem style, we have hands free. This is an easy sunset, that's not the time to it's quite a reservoir to be over my internet and go to almost as Those of you who've been on this before, have you tried it this way? You tried this way, sir? You did? How'd you like it? Crazy. Not much. Not much. Not much. I know. It was crazy. I did it one time. I wouldn't do it again. But try this way next time when you go. <laughs> Tell me if you do make it and let me know what you're smoking. Anyways, guys, have fun and enjoy yourself. Please be safe when you travel. More important than when you go home, please take home a chicken. <laughs> Aloha. My last friend there is going to be Blue Dolphin, guys. You may have done Blue Dolphin before. Got a brand? That's an amazing yeah. trip. All right. Aloha. Aloha. So you guys probably know um, our road here in Hawaii is in the shape of being here. So there's about 20 miles or so over our northwest coast that you can't see by car. So the way to see it would be by boat, helicopter, or walking 11 miles is there. And I would recommend to see it by boat. And Blue Dolphin Charters can take you guys there. So Blue Dolphin Charters is a locally owned catamaran company. It's actually my uncle. So kind of cool, I guess, to get about it now. Uh, we have a few different tours to leave from Port Allen Harbor, which is right over here on the south end of Hawaii. So that's your trekking spot. So it's about 25 minutes away uh, from the resort. So um, that's your trekking spot. Our most popular tours are five and a half hour morning snorkel trip. This tour is every day. Uh, what we do is take you up the coast. We provide you guys with the continental breakfast, a deli buffet style lunch, Mai Tai, beer and wine. 
Um, you get to jump in the water for about an hour. We're parked in the same spot. If you don't want to snorkel, you can swim. Uh, you can float on a boogie board or a noodle. You can lay on on the boat and just enjoy the scenery. Or you can even go scuba diving, whether you're certified or not. Um, we guarantee dolphin sightings on all of our morning trips. And to me, seeing the dolphins is the best part. Um, if you could imagine about a couple hundred dolphins jumping up right next to your boat um, at a various times throughout the trip, it's pretty amazing. Um, and that's our five and a half hour tour. For summertime, we have this tour in the afternoon as well. So, you'll get to um, have like a luau style dinner buffet and jump in the ocean, snorkel or swim, and see the sunset too. So, um, that's another option that we offer for the summertime. Um, now, if you want to go on a shorter trip, we have a four hour sunset dinner cruise. It goes every day as well. We take you up the coast, provide you with a luau style dinner buffet. My ties, beer and wine. No jumping in the water on that trip, but you get to have a champagne toast at sunset and then a poly coast as your backdrop for all of the pictures. And when the sun sets on, it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's another option. Um, we also have trips that go to the Forbidden Island of Mihau. So uh, what we do is we take you from Port Allen, we're going to go up the coast, and then we go across the 17 mile channel to the Forbidden Island of Mihau. You get to snorkel or scuba out there. Um, and it's a long trip, seven hours or so, and uh, it goes only on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, and you're going to have to wake up very early in the morning because check-in is at six o'clock in the morning. But it's well worth it, you guys. Not very many people get to go out to the house. So um, think about it. Talk to your friends here. You can uh, see the brochure and check it out, and then you know you can make a decision. Um, but we also have trips that go to the Nepali coast on a Zodiac too. So that's a five hour tour. We'll take you up the coast, provide you guys with lunch, you get to jump in the ocean, and then you get to um, possibly go in and out of the caves on the Nepali coast, weather permitting, of course, we want to make sure it's safe for you guys. But you do get to come pretty up close and personal with the Nepali coast. So a few options for you guys. We do have a great crew, great captains. They take excellent care of our guests. Um, some of them have been there for 20 years or, or more, um, and I've, I've actually never heard a bad review about our crew members. I always hear good stuff. They take excellent care of our guests, like I said, um, and they just know the waters really well, and um, they're really funny, too. So I think you guys will have a good time, and um, your concierge can call Blue Dolphin. We can see about four days in advance of how the weather swells and winds are looking, and we'll get you guys out there on a great day. Sound good? Guys, it's a great company. Love it. If you're interested, they got a, a great intro scuba dive. It's one of the ones I love. Good. Scuba diving on me, how guys? It's just phenomenal. So let's go ahead and switch gears. It's me now, sorry. Three papers I told you about. One of them is actually a weekly planner. So it's an opportunity you guys want to go take on, go get some breakfast, plan out your week. It's a great, great paper to use. Next one is we're going to talk about the South Shore where I was on before. Okay. On the South Shore, guys, first of all, coming out of the property, Koi Blue Road, take a right. Okay. On the right hand side, you can count Joe's. It's a sports bar, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A little bit further, it's a bypass road. Take a left. On that left, about 75 yards up, there's going to be a fruit stand. And this guy is open six days a week. Maybe you guys can go to your... She was in Bali for a while, and she finally came back. 95% of her stuff is she grows, guys. She's got coconut, she's got uh, sugar loaf pineapple. She's got papayas, mangoes, so apple bananas, and, and Thai apple bananas. Really good stuff. But guys, her prices are going to be a lot more reasonable than most farmers markets here. She's six days a week. She says 11 to 5, but she's got two kids, so about 11.30. She'll still be there. But good stuff, guys. Go all the way up. I'm going to emphasize the bold groceries up in the corner. Now, that's Big Save. Big Save open 5.30 to 11.30. The reason why it's highlighted is because it's one of my favorite spots on Tuesday. Tuesday, they sit out in the parking lot and they cook Shirley steak and garlic shrimp barbecue. Really good. Now, guys, you don't gonna buy it out there. You're gonna buy it in the deli from three to six. But if you get there around after five, it's already sold out. 
So, good stuff. You got sushi on the other side of the deli, pokey in the back. Grab some of that and a bottle of wine. Head down to the corner of the page down there, it says Kukiola Harbor. Now, Kukiola Harbor, guys, it's, if it's rough here, that's one place that will be actually calm on the south side. It's a harbor, so they got a south shore wall, so it breaks the water down. If you're going to just go play in the water, that's a good place to go. But it's also a great place to sit there and eat the stuff you got a big sand with a little bit of wine, watching spouty horn pop off and sun setting to the right of us. Now, if you guys stay past the dusk, I'm going to tell you to look up. I'm going to tell you to look up and keep your mouth closed because there's going to be a flock of blue parakeets. Coming over across, they're going to be doing is coming over this way, landing in the palm trees and stuff. They go back and forth. When it does, that's when they leave Allerton's Gardens, they come this way. And I emphasize the mouth close. <laughs> my wife did that. They heard the cheek, and I like, oh, man, that close. <laughs> so that's a great place to go, guys. Let's go back to the property, come back out. On the left hand side, uh, you guys have a salmon. Guys, it's going to be Plantation Garden Restaurant. Okay, it's over here. They're great. They got some really good food. They got a coconut curry stew, lobster, shrimp, calamari, fish, mixed with a kind of a Creole bisque. If you're not like me, I'm a cowboy. Red by steak covers the whole point. Pork chop for that bit. Food's really good, guys. But the other thing, too, is you guys see the orchids here? They have a whole area that's all orchids around there. Amazing. If you guys want to check out some orchid garden, that's the place. Go around the corner, then they got a huge cactus garden. Yeah, I did say cactus, guys. It is full of cactus. Amazing over there, guys. Come back out, guys. Kyoki's across the street. That's a Duke's restaurant. If you guys end up the hula pie, let us know because we got some coupons here or the welcome desk. So you go to dinner there, you get a free hula pie. Okay, the secret is, is just tell them it's your birthday and pick a hula pie. <laughs> it says hula hula grill. Okay, now this is the restaurant that's in Hello Landing. You guys, they do a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but their breakfast guys are phenomenal. They have avocado toast. They have the apple and macadamia nut pancakes. They have, it's just, it's really good. Local milk and they use a wang of beef, which is really good. So go check that out. It's over next door. Over here is this farmer's market. I want you guys to do is understand that that's only on Wednesday. Okay, and it says 3.30 to 6. I'm gonna tell you guys now to go at three o'clock just to get parking spots. Walk through from Bubba side all the way through, and it's gonna be the market's gonna be full of not just fruits and vegetables, it's gonna be local vendors with some no need, with some dried meat. They're gonna be doing some sliders, some uh, living foods. Guys, it's really cool. This is my plan, this is what I do, is I actually go through and I stop at Hotelay Pasta and pick up the best lasagna ever. It's got meat, kale, and mushroom, and veggie. Grab a chunk of that, go a little bit further, go to the soup lady, get my chili, go to the Merriman's uh, beer garden, and sit and listen to Johnny Rivero in the trio. One of the best ukulele players on the island, guys. It's some great music. So if you guys are interested in going to listen to some music, that's where I, I recommend it. It's on a Wednesday. Okay? Really good. And if you guys give them $5, tell them to play Hotel California. He nails it with that ukulele. It's really cool. Okay, south side guys, some great details. We could go a little bit further, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to switch gears. We're going to go into the other map. The other map is actually the Hawaii Island. I cheated. I got the big one. You got small kind. So what I'm going to do, guys, is come up. Tree zone. You guys, anybody remember going through a tree tunnel coming here? Okay. I'm going to tell you to take that back through. Anybody here? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have a dog at home? You, you miss it? Because your parents are getting happy with me. Because he makes it say he's got a program. You can check out a dog for the day. <laughs> and, and if you don't, if you weren't happy with that, dog, go back to the next day and get another one. So, anyways, guys, it's a Hawaiian wine. It's a program that the Hawaiian island has adopted. They don't want to destroy animals. I think it's really cool. But it's a great program, and that's the reason I emphasize it. The other part is this Hapu Range here. Now, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm not going to have you seen it. I'm going to ask you how many times. Remember when he got chased by the Indians? That, that first part of it, that golden idol? I'm going to tell you guys, first of all, when you watch it again, check out the guys running. You can see their board short tans. 
coming through, and he got chased all the way to the river. He yells at his dog, start the play, start the play. Swings on the rope. Now, this is Harrison Ford, guys, my idol. He swung on the rope and landed in the plane here. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> the plane crashed three times, guys. And what happened was, is they finally realized that it wasn't going to work. So he did launch on it, but then they finished that. Now, when you see the plane taking off, the river's like a quarter mile right? wide. That's why. Sorry to destroy that for you guys. Donovan's Reef. Anybody remember that movie? Lee Marvin and John Wayne. It is one of the best John Wayne movies ever, guys. It is, it is so funny. And the great part about it is I've never seen Lee Marvin and John Wayne punch each other out so many times. It's so cool. But down here at Alex's, Cecil Romero was in that movie. Now remember, first Batman, Joker. Okay? He was checking out a scope. And he's seeing, he's seeing Lee Marvin jumping off the ship and swimming. He's looking at the scope right here, and Lee Marvin was swimming right here. That was really cool. <laughs> that was high powered back then. <laughs> anyway, guys, that movie was entirely filmed on Kauai. So if you ever get a chance, watch it. Donovan's Reef. Great, great movie. Coming up, guys, September 11th, 1992. Ring a bell? <laughs> All right. Niki. Niki. Exactly. But at the same time, Steven Spielberg was here, filming Jurassic Park. So they actually were barricaded at the other Marriott. Anybody see at the other Marriott? Down in the basement down there, they were barricaded this, during this whole episode. Steven said his, his set coordinator and says, hey, come give me some shots. The guy did, they interviewed him. He said, yeah, it was 200 mile an hour winds. I was horizontal, but I got the shot. Guys, that's the storm in Jurassic Park. It wasn't made up by Hollywood. It actually was a neat that hit the sand. They didn't finish the movie because the sets got destroyed. The 5% of the movie that they didn't finish was actually, you know, the part where the, the professor and the kids flock over a, a log because these dinosaurs are flocking like birds? That part actually got filmed in a log. They took the log and flew it over there and finished that up right there. Coming out, guys. When you guys came out of the airport and you saw our famous landmark and picked fried chicken. <laughs> Highway 50 is left. That's a couple of things. Okay. That's going to be our south to west highway. If you take it a right, it would have been 56. That would have been your east to north. Okay. So what we're going to do is continue going up north. I'm going to tell you to take a right out of there. You're going to see another famous landmark. Walmart. Drop down the hill. And that's going to be exit to 583 to Wailua. Now, Wailua Falls is not a hiking falls. It's just up, up on top looking at it. For us, us movie and TV guys, that's what they did. Fantasy Island. Right, and then the lighthouse you guys flew over was the other one that they used for Fantasy Island as well. So, go up there, check it out. Now I'm going to throw a little bit of twist in here, guys. Anybody here, I mean, sorry, it sounds kind of weird, likes to skeet shoot, shoot, play shoot? We got a company right up here, guys. It does, he has an amazing range. And he does some clay shooting. He's got like eight long targets that go in different directions on the cross the rabbit. So if you guys are watching this, right there. Coming out, guys, to Highway 56. If you're not comfortable with your snorkeling skills or abilities, you know, it's, it's putting the gear on to get your face in that salt water. It's used to the first challenge of snorkeling. Lidgate State Park, guys. They got a bouldered off area, lifeguard overlooking it. The depth and high tide is about six foot in the middle. It's a great place to practice your gifts, your skills, your skills. Nice. Across the way, it's got one of the biggest play structures over there. You guys have been over there? The big game? Yeah, they got a huge playground over there. It's a great place to go. Go a little bit further up, guys. Up towards Wailua. Now, I was telling you guys about that storm. Let me tell you about some of the things that happened. When that storm hit, it literally swollen all the rivers. Why a look? Logs came down. That's just logs. Logs. A beaver tree. And it hit the bridge. And the river was flowing up and over all four lanes. It took them about seven hours just to even open that highway, just in that section. Mountain Tubi. Actually, it was closed for almost a month and a half. So, anybody do the Mountain Tubi? Yeah. So, go a little bit further, guys, up. Go across, take a left on 580. It's going to be a pickup. 
falls across the way. Guys, it's a beautiful falls overlooking. They use it for superposing some of the movies, King Kong crying and stuff. Go across the road and look down. You guys will see the Wailoa. Kind of looks like the Amazon, but there'll be an authentic Hawaiian village down there. Two reasons why I talk about this. One, it's a really cool thing to walk through. Two, if you guys don't want a kayak, rent a kayak at the mouth and go all the way up. This is the place you can actually rent a kayak in 15 minutes to the Sacred Falls, Sacred Pool, or in Grotto. They also rent Outrigger too, six man up there as well. Coming back down, guys, heading up. Where are you guys from? Okay, so this is Atlanta traffic every day. <laughs> okay, guys, it's it can be that bad. It, yeah, it is. It, it can be. And the reason why, guys, it's not like it's in the morning or in the afternoon. It's traffic that happens all through the day. So on your map, even on the small kind, it shows you a little bypass road. Uh, some of the bigger maps will show you some other bypasses. So if you guys want to miss some of that, they do it. They do a contra flow, and it's right about here. All the way here. What it means is in the morning going into La Jolla, they'll open up two lanes and one lane going up and then switch it over in the afternoon. So you guys will be all of a sudden driving you think illegally. That's a that's a contra for itself. Black line guys. That's a seven and a half mile pathway. And it's so cool. You guys can rent bikes up there for about five dollars an hour. Okay? For you if you uh, your honeymooners and the ones that get along there's a the kingdom bike. Or are they ones that don't get along? The wife in front. I always do it. It's great. We're not going fast. I don't know. You guys, there's a brochure up here. It's called Hello in Kauai. Okay, Brian rents it for five dollars an hour. That's great. For me, when I rent bikes up there, I only make it to about here because on the left hand side there's four food trucks. <laughs> going up to Kapala, Anaholo, Anaholo, guys. There's going to be a place up there. It's going to be a, a post office. A whaler store and a red building. And that's gonna be Ono Charburger. Ono Charburger guys, one of the oldest establishments. The burgers are great. Seven dollars to cut them in half. But I'm gonna tell you guys now, this is just an experience for me. When you buy the food, take it and go up to one of the beaches. I sat there and ate and I had this rooster come down and pet me right on my big toe. He was up, he was over, he was good. I just dropped kicked him. I was so bad. <laughs> So, uh, Bono Char Burger, guys. It's a great place. Now, if you guys are not a burger fan, like my wife's not, she'll actually go in the weather store and get a Poke Bowl and some ass and a beer. So, Poke Bowl, beer, shake, burger, we're happy. That's all right here in Anaholo, guys. Uh, best place to get pizza on the island? Costco. So, Lighthouse right here. That's 10 bucks. Come on. You can't go wrong. Especially with you guys' big families. Two pizzas filled here for 20 bucks. You guys are good. Lighthouse guys is closed today. It's closed on Sunday and Monday. So if you guys are thinking about that, think about Tuesday. For your family, you got a miniature golf course up there. And it's really cool because they built it on a botanical garden. So when you're going by, it has all these different plants that it's cool. They just built a huge place structure over there as well, which is cool. And there's a great hike up there. Coming up here, guys. Princeville for us, we got one more. It's called Costco. Get your gas at Costco. Anything you guys want to buy, you know, like food and stuff, before you go up there, get it in Lulu or Kapaa. We're going up there. Price is a little higher. Gas is about a dollar more than up here. Coming up that S curve, guys. If you could pull off on that left side right now, I was there yesterday and didn't have it, but that's a great view of Honolulu Bay behind you. There's also a great view of something else behind you. Okay, us older generation. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Magic Greg. There we go. Yeah, pops right here, guys. And you can see it from there. It's a better view. Oh, yeah. Let's be honest. I think Peter Paul and Mary were probably just puffing. You can see puffing. So when you get up there, guys, kind of squint, you'll see it. <laughs> but it's right up here. So let's talk about the North Shore. North Shore, guys, it's, it's a mess. It's uh, permits right now are about a week and a half out to get permits. Okay, here's uh, here's some emails and some look uh, some websites you guys can go to. So when you go after this, come out and grab them. Uh, they, they do shelling up there, but what I found out is if you guys go early enough, you can go all the way to Hyena Beach, 
Okay, it's crossing the dry gate, and that parking is free. But anything further, it's all permitted. But guys, if you park on the road, they actually, they, they will turn around and put a big old thing across your window and can't remove it. Okay, they're, they're serious up there. Uh, we used to have 8,000 people a day. Okay, right now they're trying to control it to have only about 900 people. That where it can't eat you? That's a big that chunk. That's a big chunk, yeah. So it's the whole North Shore, guys. There's like six to seven, six or seven shuttle points you can grab. But take a look at those websites, guys. Okay, if you want to buy a permit, you do that. If you want to buy a ticket for the shuttle, you can do that online as well. Uh, people were just, I was up there on the North Shore yesterday, and that's what they were all, they were just up in arms because it was just a right mess. So if you guys can enjoy the rest of your island, I, I recommend you doing that. But if you guys are really anchored to go up there, do that. There actually is a kite car. Uh, hold, hold it does 240 push uh, rafts to go out on the North Shore. That's what I was doing yesterday. So, anyways, I'm not going to talk much about it, but guys, it's, you know, it is what it is. 50 inches, 10 landslides, 60 houses, 3 bridges, a cemetery. All got hit by the flood. Can you get all the way to Hanalei? Oh, Hanalei is fine. Okay. Hanalei Beach is fine. It's past that. It's past that. Okay. Yeah, because they had the road closed until June 17th of this year, and that's when they start opening. We feel that they open it too soon. They've still got construction stuff up there. But, guys, that's just the way it is. I'm not trying to sugarcoat. I'm just letting you guys know. If you have some frustrations, that's what it's going to be. Okay. Come out of here, guys. Get the Poison Road in front of us. Take a left. Go all the way to Paloa Road. That's where the gas station is. At the gas station, take a left. That's going to be Paloa Road itself. Light, take a left. About a half mile on the left hand side will be Calaheo Cafe and Coffee. So, if you guys are heading to the canyon, you're looking around breakfast, that's a great place to go get some coffee and some. You got some sticky buns that are just so Eat that and then wander to some hiking. Coming out of there, guys, a little bit further, there's going to be a light. On the light, there's going to be a golf course. The golf course is one of the oldest golf courses. Anybody ever play that? Google Anybody play it first? Oh, guys. Okay, what's the last thing you played? About four years, five years. Oh man, they're not gonna be happy to raise the price. It's ten dollars now. So yeah. It's a nine hole course, guys. Two fives, two threes. Rest bar four. Neat thing about it, guys. I just up there last week. They actually cleared all the trees up above, so you actually have a view of ocean, coffee beds, Neat house. Guys, okay, it's really beautiful up there. It's not about golfing, by the way. So. You guys aren't golfers, go here anyways, because there's a Japanese garden and then a walkway, a pavilion that takes you out to work. The pavilion itself looks like coffee field all the way towards the south side, towards the high. Beautiful, guys. Great view of there. Come back up, go down and take a left on 540 to Hawaii Coffee. Hawaii Coffee is open 9 to 5. Guys, if you're into doing scavenger hunts, they do a scavenger hunt on Wednesday as a contest. Go over and you grab a piece of paper. A piece of paper will have different places on the island you need to go find them. Guys, okay, so I can help you cheat. It says, take a picture of five chickens. On my phone, I got ten. So I got to But guys, Kauai Coffee, it's, it's open every day. We are the largest coffee plantation in the United States. Okay? Now, don't get fooled. Because these cups are the big cups. Small cups they give you, but there's like 25 samples. So if you're walking out with 25, you're feeling good. <laughs> Hey guys, I want to pause real quick. I want to introduce you to a great man, gentleman, scholar. He's the GM of this property. It's Ferris Wall. Good friend of mine. Great. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hawaii Coffee. Welcome to Hawaii Coffee. Welcome to Hawaii Coffee. Welcome to Hawaii Coffee. Uh, my name is Barris, as Bart said, I'm the GM, and I just want to invite everyone here uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow, at 4 o'clock, we have a complimentary uh, reception, and we have uh, Mai Tais and Happy Tigers, or Focus, as it's called, and we like to do that for the owners, so that they get to interact with each other, and when you see each other at the ball, walk in the hall, you can address each other by name, or you might even find out that you're probably from the neighboring town. So have a great week, enjoy your vacation, and then we'll see you tomorrow at four. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So coming out guys.
gonna head down four down. It's where a lot of the boat companies, actually most of the boat companies are at. The Catamarans, some of the Zodiacs. Uh, there's also a microbrewery down there too, which is pretty nice. A little bit further on that little nip there, there's also a glass beach. Now guys, don't get into disarray. It's not gonna be a big, huge glass. It's gonna be a small set of sand. One person said, wow. When there's big glass, they said, no problem. There was an uncle about two weeks ago, he threw a case of beer in, and the bottles have been coming in soon, so. <laughs> That's the glass on the beach, guys. Okay. So, you want to go check it out? It's really cool. They got one of the oldest cemeteries up there. Uh, and if you guys want to, what I do is I'll take a water bottle and I'll actually fill it up with the sand glass. And I'll take it to my youth group at church and they'll make prayer boxes with the motif, which is really pretty. Coming out of there, guys. On a Pepe, Art Town. Friday night, 6 to 9. Okay, guys. Food trucks. Galore. So if you guys are interested, also there's a salty wahini that's on the highway itself. So if you guys like seasonings, okay, we've got I got some coupons. It's actually called a bar coupon. It's five dollars off a product. So if you guys want to use that, it's right there at Hanafepe. The another thing about Hanafepe is there's a swinging bridge that goes across Hanafepe River. There's also if you guys like me like to read book old style and not a Kindle and stuff. Okay, they have a place called Talk Story. Old place. It's great. They sell books in consignment. I actually took a girl once and her mother three times in a week because she kept reading Nancy Drew books and wanted to exchange them. So it was really cool. So they kept reading, you know, seeing it for her. Hot up, baby, guys. It's a great place to go. Now, if the swells are kind of big here and you guys are not feeling it, Soul Pot's a good place. Guys. 400 to 600 inches, a bunch of range. We get 9 to 14 inches up here. Okay, big, big difference. But salt pond, guys, it's, it's it's all sandy in front of the lifeguard. You're not going to deal with reef. But if you're going to go up there and you want to snorkel, what you want to do is go to the left side, get this on tape. In front of the Port Allen Airport, there's a reef. That's the only place really to snorkel over there, guys. There'll be some fish, not tons, but fish. If you're going to snorkel, that's where I'd go. You guys, I got five per billion. If you're worried about sun, great place to sit. Got a couple of bathrooms. But the best thing is, you get it on that sand and you're just enjoying the water without trying to worry about what you're stepping on. Okay. Salt pond. Between salt pond and, and white man, there's not much. A lot of GMO stuff. Uh, to go all the way across from white man, across the way on the left hand side, there's going to be a grocery store called Ishihara Market. Six display. Oh, she's got shampoo. She's got, I mean, everything around Lilikoi. She's done it. But that's right there. Okay. Go a little bit further. There's going to be two re two restaurants I'm going to point out to you. Ocean Side, it's going to be Shrimp Station, Beer Batter, Coconut Shrimp. Maka Side or Mountain Side, it's going to be Island Taco. Okay, guys. It, I have to, it's a disclaimer. He's my brother. It's still good. Don't mention my name. He will charge you double. But it's right there, guys. He's got a great sear eye with Sabi Taco. It's really good. He's also in Poi Poo as well. Take the canyon road. On your map, I tell you guys now to put a big old circle and an X. Do not take 552. Okay, uh, that's not true. If you guys are looking for a five mile an hour and then he's a spelling tour, I got one for you right here. <laughs> tour buses go up there, guys. So those big old buses, that's where they're going. There's two bike rides coming down. Okay, that's Outfitters. So it's congested and slow, smelling. Best way to do it is go up to Canyon Drive. I'm going to tell you, this is the Bart recommendation. It's the Canyon Lookout. Put a big old circle and X in it. Don't do it. It's going to be mile markers 11 through 13 that will show you the best views of that canyon. Right past mile marker 12, there'll be a cyclone fence, bathroom across the way. That's looking at Wide Pool Falls. The falls in the canyon. Direct shot. It's an amazing view, guys. Go all the way up, guys. Go to the State Park Museum. They live up there. So if you guys are thinking about hiking, then I'd recommend you talk to them. They'll tell you what trails are good or not. Okay? Uh, but I would actually, guys, I would tell you now is to drive all the way to the end of the road. All the way to the end of the road will take you... Not call out look at but the all the way to the end. We'll look to the whole call out. You know the postcards you see with the valley and the ocean? That's the viewpoint. 
They also have a little plaque that says Mount Black, I think that's the wettest spot in the world. Okay, photo on it. But guys, you know the history of Akala? Anybody? Oh, wow, it was a home of 5,000 wines. Okay. And then it became 2,000 hippies. And now there are politicians. So. Let's do a drawing, guys. What are we here for? Oh, Megan, sorry about that. Guys, I'm going to introduce you. This is Megan Blum. She's a fantastic lady. She's part of the welcome desk over there, but she's got a little stuff she wants to share with you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Aloha. So my name is Megan. I'm with our welcome desk, which is right on the other side of this wall over here. And I'm just here to remind you that we have a wonderful packet of information for you. It's called our welcome packet. If you have not yet received that, go over and grab it from them. The welcome packet has all sorts of great information in it. It has information about the island as well as the resort. And it has um, what's kind of the most popular thing in here. It's not necessarily the discounts, but it's the farmer's market schedule. So we have a schedule of all the different farmer's markets on the island, the different days, the different times, and the different locations. And then the second part, probably second most popular, is going to be that discount part. So the discount part gets you discounts at kind of different restaurants, wonderful shops, things to do on the island. Uh, we also have a welcome gift for you as well. So once you're done here and you get all your activities booked, come over and see us at the welcome desk. We'll get you your welcome packet and possibly help you with discounts on uh, all sorts of things on the island, okay? All right, thank you so much. We're going to do our drawing. Start. Yep, second. We're going to this is a local um, person on the island. She, you can see it's the island of Kauai. Yeah, she makes um, jewelry. You can actually purchase her stuff at Holly and Leon. It's called My Love Design. M A I. That's her last name. Yeah, it's wonderful. So, right here at the Kauai Shopping Center. Yeah. There was one banner that didn't show up, guys, I want to share with you. It's going to be two points for us. Okay, so that's part one of the drawing. You guys, whoever wins it, more information, come see me, I'll talk a little bit more about it. But it's a uh, little that we have that's on the beach. Alrighty, so guys, let's, let's uh, telepathy pass your number to, to Megan here. Okay, I get so to be banned that's She gets to, what's your guys' number? Yeah. Two. Nine. Nine. Okay, we got some nines, we got some nines, we got some nines. Oh, sorry. Eight. None of them. <laughs> Number eight. All right. All right. The guy that's been videoed, so now we're okay now. <laughs> we're good. Right. This is for the luau. So check on this for availability. Uh, Eva, can you put yourself on the waiting list? All right. Okay. All right, next one's going to be a leaky kayak, guys. The wild All right. Five. Okay. Your name. All right. Who wants to get dirty? It's Hawaii ATV. Ooh, that's a fun one. Okay, three. Nice. Okay, now you guys understand. No trading on that. <laughs> All right, next one's going to be a glow zip line. Oh, that's a good one, too. Let's see. 13, lucky 13. All right. Thank you. What are you doing now? Did you catch for the next one? Next we're going to be blue golf and Mini golf list. Yes. That's the thing I look at. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.